Alright, hey everybody, we're back with Turning Point Fall of Liberty. And someone in the comment section of the last video said they liked this game. I was thinking, it's like... Yeah, you can like whatever game you want, you know, like, I... This game, I think it's a bad game. Alright, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, I think this is a bad game, but I think it has a, a very cool setting. I think that the gun models are very well done. I think they look very close or basically what would have evolved if 19 if the Germans kept evolving their weapons past the 1940s like into the 50s here um i think the settings you know like i said the setting is very cool uh however i do think there are some bad things about this game i think the level design's kind of bad it's kind of glitchy um some of the weapon choices for the US don't make sense i mean the M1 Grand and the Thompson are fine but you have that weird Lever action. Uh, what else? Eh, it's, it's really just glitchy. I think the glitchiness kind of just brings this game down. I mean, you know, like I said, you can like whatever game you want. There are plenty of bad games I like. Like, I love Too Human. Too Human is my favorite game of all time, and, it, and it's considered a bad game. I mean, it's one of the only games to be illegal to sell in the U.S., Which is why if you go into the Microsoft Store, it's free. Like, they cannot legally sell it. Oh, I was already up here. Weird. I guess. I just hit continue on from where, where we were. So, oh, yeah, because I died there. And it's very dark, and I have to hit the... This custom standard vivid mode. I love having all this set up. Where it's like, oh, because, like, whenever I record, I, I have everything on standard, which is where everything's, like, true black and it's dark and it looks really good for me. All right, and I'll play like that. However, when recording, obviously I need to see, because you don't want me wandering around for 20 minutes in the dark. Or maybe you do. Uh -huh. What other bad games do I like? I mean, I love Call of Duty 3. That's considered a bad game. But that game was made in only eight months. How about that? Like, that's crazy to me. It, it's crazy to me that they were able to make Call of Duty 3 in eight months. And it's great, right? But we can't get modern games that are, like, made like that. I guess it's because nobody, like, everyone complains about crunch these days. It's like, oh, I'm overworked. It's like, boy, it's like back in the 90s and 2000s, people worked because they liked working on games. It wasn't just, like, I think that's, that's what's become of video games and why they're so bad. It's because nobody likes working on games anymore it's now just a job you know it's not like you're doing it because you like working on him you know and i i constantly see that it's like oh we're overworked it's crunch I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like the older guys where it was like five of them in a basement making a game and it turned out amazing like blizzard you know blizzard made world of warcraft because they were mad at everquest and it's like a bunch of them just went they're like they, they you know just like the difference of how things are treated these days versus back then. Though, except for, um, there's a game, there's an amazing game coming out. Uh, it's basically a fear, a clone of fear. And I don't, I love clone games because the clone, we need more clone games. All right. Of good, of good games. Like, uh, it's called Trepang 2. Trepang 2. It's basically a clone of fear. I'm just like, good clone fear because Monolith isn't making a new fear. Unless they're secretly planning to. They haven't made a new game in a while. Can we get the subgenre of fear likes? You know how there's like souls likes and souls borns, you know, and stuff like that. Can we get fear likes? That'd be cool. I mean, I found another game that's like fear, and I'm gonna put up a showcase of it, of all the weapons. Another thing I will say about this game. I think it generally looks good for a 360 game. I don't think it looks amazing, but I think it looks fine. Good. Oh, ooh. Hello. Oop. Yeah, the reloads are also fine, too. I think they generally look fine. Hello, person. Another person. Excuse me. You want a Callahan's men? All right. We need to get to the train station. Grab that sniper rifle. It may come in handy. 
What sniper rifle? Oh, I have the sniper rifle already. Why would I... I need MP40 ammo. <laughs> or MP50, whatever it is. I'm just gonna call it MP40. Well, the snipers can't aim. Oh, now they can. Oh, are they up in the blimp? Oh, they're killing me. Crap. Take a sip of tea before going out there. <laughs> Ow, holy crap. Yeah, oh, they do have good accuracy. And I can't see. Oh. I should have ran. But the, the run button is in such a weird place on this game. It is LB, and that should never be a run button. Oh, the bad checkpoints. I forgot. you think it would be a checkpoint whenever that guy said, You want a Callian's men? You know, but no. It's... The game has bad checkpoints. There's a bug in here. Uh. Like, why not checkpoint here? Hey, you know. Because <laughs> there's a loading screen. you think every loading screen would be a checkpoint, but no, apparently not in this game. Oop. You want a Callahan's yeah, right? Right. right there, it says the train objective. That, like, why isn't this a checkpoint? Grab that sniper rifle. It may come in Weird. Weirdness of this game. Down, I have to be worry more about the blimp there, sir, than the snipers. They are on me. Where do you, I can see their laser through the, uh, all there. Powerful laser. Like I said in the last episode, I feel sorry for colorblind people. You are probably having one tough time right now. Though I'm, I'm pretty sure the real vampire scope was red, right? Oh, without the scope. Uh, I guess I'll keep the scope. Cut MP40 ammo, you have a Thompson or anything I can use? What's that button? Oh. It's so weird that B is activate. I'm, keep, I'm going X on it, because X is always activate. To me, this will always be the weirdest thing of the game. How it's like random adventure game sections. Because I don't know of another first-person shooter that does this. You know? Uh, drop, please. Drop. What buttons drop? Down? I don't know what... There. 
Hello? People down here? No scope. Well, it's not really that hard. This thing has very tight crosshairs for a video game sniper rifle. Watch out! The blue spot us. We have to take that down. Find a rocket launcher. Hello there, giant rocket launcher thing. Carson. Oh, it's multi-shot. That's like that's a good design and a good reload animation. Or am I supposed to be hitting it? Yeah. I mean that's a very good reload. Yeah. Oh, I was missing a cool action scene. Whoopsie. That looks like a jump. Come on, let's get on that train. Come on, the train's about to leave. Nothing happening right now. I can talk. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm warming up to this game. But that, that like first hour was kind of, kind of bad. And there is something to be said about physical games because um, you know, think about it. like I was thinking about because I went, I got at the Flea Teak. Like I said, I got this in Call of Duty Two for two bucks. And then I remember I got Call of Duty Finest Hour at a, another kind of sale thing, sort of a garage, not really a garage sale, it's a flea market, flea market. I got Call of Duty Finest Hour for three bucks, so for five bucks I got three games. Physical games for the 360. And not like indie games, I didn't use. And I looked at, at some of the prices, I mean, they're always, their digital prices do not go down for AAA games a lot of the times. I mean, like... All the Call of Duties are still super expensive. I'm like, why would you ever buy a digital Call of Duty of the old ones? Just buy a physical one. They're like two bucks, two, three dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, you may find it safer to stay indoors in these times of turmoil. There are mounting reports of fighting between civilian insurgents and occupying German forces up and down the occupied East Coast. German Propaganda Minister Joseph Goebbels announced this morning that U.S. President Thomas Dewey and Vice President Haley will be stepping down from office immediately. No reason was given. Speaker of the House James Edward Stevenson was sworn in as the new president shortly thereafter. In his first act in office, he announced America's surrender, calling for all American armed forces to stand down. Moments ago, we received word that General George Donovan, in defiance of Stevenson's orders, led a raid on the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C., where Minister Goebbels was stationed. Donnelly was captured and faces charges of treason and possible execution. Perhaps Donnelly's actions will serve as a rallying cry for resistance forces still battling the Nazi occupier. This is Lloyd Edwards, signing off. Huh. <laughs> The developers really did not like, uh, Mr. Dewey. He was, um, probably Roosevelt's and Truman's most prominent, uh, political rival of the other party. Hey guys, come take a look. The crowds are doing a sweep of the neighborhood. You think they're looking for us? Those, 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 those! I don't know what you want! Show it in, man! What's good for Zaga? I 
wish we got games with cool settings like this. I mean, like, home front sort of like this, right? I just... The sensitivity of this game is so strange. What's up? I really want to do a full reload to see what it looks like. What the? Oh. What does a full reload look on this? I know I'm wasting ammo, but... Three. Four. Five. Five. And it reloads all the way. Huh. Boop. What else do I have? Oh, I only have this. I have to say, very detailed house. Eh. Oh, it opened the door. Can I go that way? They're coming in through the check the attic doors. Where is the attic, sir? I don't have any grenades. So there's that glitchiness, he's, you know... I, th I think that's what's mainly bringing this game down, is the glitchiness and, and bad checkpoints. Other than that, I think it's fine. Well, maybe not. He's dead. Thompson. Oh, I have a pistol. Oh, I'm almost out of Thompson. So, so yeah, I'm gonna keep the uh, lever action here. Still no armor on our character. Like, no helmet, no... <laughs> what is this pistol? Strange. It's a very, very weird looking pistol. Like, it kind of looks like a Ruger. Like the 22 Ruger, but with the. The grip in front. Uh, game, where do you want me to go? Oh, it's probably, uh... Something... Adventure game mode. Oh. Maybe... I love how you get like, um... Oh, hello. Well, 
Well, that didn't work. Oh, I have more. Okay. It wasn't reloading. Is that the 19... 56 pistol? I can't read the words on there. 1935 pistol. Still weird looking. Go adventure game time. Grenade disappeared. Got stuck on that. Again, stuck. I can't jump. Oh. Ledge. Ledge, sir. Okay, weird. Our guy has some finger strength. Because that would hurt. <laughs> the sensitivity when aiming down sights with this thing is very bad. Finally registered. Come on. Lever action is too good in this. Yeah. It's like it one shots. And it is a good rate of fire. Wait, what, why is this? Oh. Watch out behind you. Get inside. Hurry. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I thought the game broke. You can get them this way. I'll lock the door to slow them down, but it won't hold forever. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, give me Trenchy back. Uh, it's been years since I had Trenchy. That's why I called the uh, trench gun in Necrovision. There you go, sir. <laughs> See that shotgun reload? Ah, uh, that was decent. Who are you? Oh, resistance, right? We John Wayne. <laughs> because of those soldiers, but the attic's open. Is there anything... Anything preventing you from calling your character John Wayne? Where am I? Hello? Weird. 
I'll, I'll never get used to that. Rather than just having it like. Get out of here. Find your own hiding place. You want a gun? I left the lever action downstairs. Where do I go? Light rays. Ah. Light rays are nice. As the saying goes, pistols put holes in people, rifles put holes through people, and shotguns tear <laughs> shit off of people. Ah, <laughs> uh, I couldn't save him. Sorry there, sir. I noticed it's fun. They, you're loading um red shotgun shells into this gun. Technically, when did red shotgun shells come onto the scene? When shotguns first appeared, they had brass, fully brass, full brass cases, which you can still buy actually. Then they had uh, paper. Yeah, actually, uh, cartridges made of paper. Though I did see one company have aluminum cases, which are actually pretty neat looking. That's not what I want. Game! Try and throw it out the window. Sensitivity changes so much when aiming down sight. Like, it almost feels like you're not supposed to. Oh, speaking of the paper shotgun shells, Winchester is apparently bringing those back. Are you still MP40? What are you? Oh yeah, you're the MP50 kind of thing. Looks like it has an AR-15 buttstock. I don't know about the stock. I think they would have still kept the uh, collapsing one or the uh, underfolding one. Ah, it's this one. Good thing you highlighted it. Sensitivity! Are you bad? Oh, I'm running out. Ah, uh, Germans. And their hatred of shotguns. I'm supposed to go in here? Weirdly marked door. No. Uh, oh, probably on this. Yep. Let's make this last round count. Oh no. Okay, yeah, that was the last round. Hey, 
Nazi shooting gallery. Well, that's not good. Can you... Stop that. I'm dead. Huh. <laughs> I have no ammo. Huh. That's right. Game, I need ammo. FG-42 kind of thing. Mm, char charging handle's in kind of a weird spot, but I'll accept it. There's a company, right? You won't believe this. There's a, there's a company that makes a reproduction of the FG-42 in 9mm. That uses cult magazines. Hello. FG-42 is such a weird gun, because it's basically a Lewis gun, simplified, and then every, then the United States was like, wow, we really like that FG-42, we should put a belt, we should put a belt on it. And then, so effectively an M60 is just a Lewis gun. Looks like I'm supposed to activate that, but I guess not. Shotgun's back. <laughs> um, I'm confused on where to go. Game. Okay. Not that way. Not that way. It's got to be in here somewhere. Maybe I'm supposed to jump on this. Nope. Nope. green fart gas they're harvesting. God dang Nazis harvesting farts. Okay, I, I don't know what to do. Oh. Well, 
this is lit up now. How was I supposed to know that? Under the team and barber shop. Oh. Darn. <laughs> I was like, what? Is this the end of the level? Yeah, apparently it was. <laughs> Weird. Uh-oh. Game, did you freeze? I pressed A to continue. Oh, there it goes. I wonder if this game needs installed to the, uh, the 360. Because I, I just have it running. I don't have this game installed. It would improve the load times, but they're not really that long. More shotgun. Oh, I do have a grand though. Why is there? in to steal Nazi candy. That's one way to use a shotgun. Oh my god, it disappeared. Do I want the shotgun? Well, I'm almost at Thompson, so... <laughs> I mean, we're in close quarters, so why would I not use a shotgun? Man, I want, I really want a Winchester H97. My friend has one. It's, it was, um, pretty sure it was a, it was military service, and then it was a police gun, because it has a, a police rack number on it. Of, I think it's like 57 or 56, which is kind of neat. Ring, ring, ring. Nothing. Ooh, where are we going? I also want an M1 Grand, but they're expensive. Like, you used to be able to get M1 Grands for like 700 bucks. Now they're like, they're well over a thousand now. I, mean, I haven't even checked. I gotta do blow the lock off? Nope. Gotta be in here then. Oh. There you go. Give me candy. Too slow. <laughs> Nazi candy from a uh, robot chicken. I 
guy's been wearing the same clothes. It's kind of funny. I like that shotgun sound. Game has a good shotgun sound. Your shotgun should sound like a can't. Like, this is just my opinion. Right? If you're a game developer, you have to be watching my videos for some reason. And you're making a game of FPS shooter, you should have exaggerated shotgun rounds. Like, or exaggerate all the gun sounds. You know, like, firing a, a pistol should sound like a 50 cal. A you know, shotgun should sound like a 20 millimeter, like a, even like an anti-tank. You know, like a 30 millimeter going off. It's a video game, you know, I don't... You should exaggerate sounds, you know, it, it makes it feel a lot... Make it feel a lot more powerful than it is. Wait, wait, can you die? Oh, I didn't even realize that. It's a good, like, equipping animation. I get in there though. And then just more the 40 style guns. In here? Ah, in there. Okay. Stuck. Did anything else? Uh -oh. Wait, why'd that open? Okay. Didn't open that. Why'd that open? Now I'm confusion. And FPS? Well, old games used to do it. Probably going the wrong way. You're probably screaming at the screen. Look, I get lost. Very easily. door going off. What the? Let me through. I, I don't know where to go. I am, that's where I was. Huh. Right? Yeah. I was in there. And I went around. Now this doesn't... Oh god, this, this is why I need waypoints. Just give me waypoints. Because now I'm going to wander around like an idiot. And I don't edit stuff out, so you're going to see me wander around like an idiot. Open security door. Okay, where is security door? It's gotta be one of these then. Here. Is it? Uh, 
That's a G47 and a... It's like a Nambu. It's a weird looking pistol. It's like a mount. It's like a Mauser broom handle with a a Nambu. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here because I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna go look up what to do and record two episodes. So next time, which will be tomorrow for you. Uh, yeah. Continue on. All right. So see you next time. Sorry, this was like ten minutes of me doing nothing, but yeah, I get lost very easily. You're gonna have to deal with that.